slippery little suckers. How's it look? No sharks? On the track, yeah, the deep hole where they pick people up is right there. It's like Fred Flintstone's bowling ball. Oh, look at these iguanas! Oh my god! Forget deer crossing, iguana crossing. Welcome to Virginia Key. Eight bucks to get in. You know what, guys? I've paid double that just to park my car in Miami on the street. So we got a whole park here to work with. Whoa! Oh, Jesus! Calculating. See that? This almost looks like the Florida Keys, even though it's Virginia Key, which is Miami. I'm going to. Uh try to get a spot in the shade guys let's go have some adventure guys welcome to Virginia Key guys a place right off the shores of Miami and Biscayne Bay a place with a lot of historical and cultural significance Scope out a good spot, guys. Preferably closer to the ocean. So this is great. They have all these little tiki huts. A lot of trees. Let's get a spot with a view. What do you guys say? Guys, this really is reminiscent of the Florida Keys, which is certainly to the south of where we are here in South Miami. But a lot of people might be confused that aren't from here and think, well, Virginia Key, Key Biscayne, those are the keys, aren't they? No, they're not actually. They're not part of the chain of islands known as the Florida Keys. Virginia Key and Key Biscayne are actually part of Dade County, part of Miami. So this is a, this is a pretty good spot right here, guys. I mean, can you think of a better way to spend eight bucks? It's certainly worth every penny and then some. Guys, this place is absolutely empty, which is great. It is a Wednesday, so midweek, and uh, that's what I would recommend, because on the weekend, I can almost guarantee this place is probably going to be packed. This looks like as good a spot as any right here. We found it, home.
So what you're looking at here, guys, is the incredible Virginia Key. This is the northernmost barrier island, only a mile away from Miami, with its sister, Key Biscayne, right next door. This 863-acre island is complete with these tiki-style huts that are beachside here, right on the Straits of Florida, where it's flat and very navigable if you wanted to take out a kayak. Are you guys from here, from Miami? No, sadly not. We're from Germany. You're from Germany? Yeah. Oh, willkommen. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wie geht's? Yeah, exactly. It's a great spot to do it, guys. And not only that, but you got these barbecue grills right here alongside the huts. So it really makes for a great day out on a sunny day like today. You're looking at the South Point Park Pier and just in front of that, these red roofs that you're looking at, that's Fisher Island. There's the pier going out into the ocean. You've seen me live stream from there as well. guys back in the 1940s people of color could not use the beaches here in Miami city officials in Miami Dade decided to designate this island and Virginia Key Beach for the use by African Americans and people of color back in the day guys that was the terminology that was used colored only people of color would come to this beach and be able to use the facilities because you know, prior to that, if you were, if you were an African American, if you were a person of color, you couldn't go to the beach. And you know, it gets hot down here, guys. And so, Dade County came to the decision, designate these beaches for use for what they said was colored only. And it stayed that way all throughout the end of segregation in the early 1960s. Now, there, so there were some like relic buildings that were here from when they first settled the island and set it up for those purposes. And then in the mid 1940s, major hurricane struck. So when that happened, those original buildings got wiped out. And then in the early 50s, they reconstructed some new buildings, which is still here to this day, included a seaside merry-go-round that's still in use to this day. what I'm looking for. Don't worry, Svetlana, you'll get it back. I got two all beef kosher hot dogs and those Garcia sausages. You guys have seen me make those down in the Keys before. And then you gotta go with at least one Bubba burger. That should hold us till the beer gets here. Guys, I'll tell you what, it was, it was touch and go there for a while with this cuisine art. This thing has definitely served me faithfully throughout the years, but uh, it's, it's had its problems too. I've had some good Samaritans actually come and help me get it started. Today, Barefoot figured it out all on his own. I, for some reason, it just has a hard time getting going, but once it does, dinner is served. Oh. Surrounded by coconut husks. We could use this as a dessert tray. The only sound I like better than the ocean waves. Cheers. Onward and upward. A little strong, but good. Think it's ready yet? Let's check. I mean, I like my burgers pink, but that's I think it's still moving. You see these Bubba burgers, 
you cook them frozen. So what happens is they stay moist. That's a little on the flooded side. Oh, look at that hot dog. Split all on its own. I love it. Nathan's in Coney Island. Eat your heart out. Where are you having your lunch today? I'll bet it don't look anything like that. Talk about splitting the uprights. Right. Come on, lunch. Let's go. I know you can do this. Stay right there. It won't be long. Oh yeah. Oh, flare-ups. Just like my diverticulitis. <sighs> Guys, I think we might be ready for a hot dog in about now. It's as good a place as any. Hurry on down to Hardee's, where the burgers are charcoal broiled. Whoa. Slippery little suckers. Get back over there. Get along, little doggies. Oh, yeah, look at that. Split to perfection, right down the middle. What do you guys think? Time for some cheese? Oh, flies. Didn't take them long. You can have that over there. A little fly bait. can't see shit. I can hear those flames in there. I know they're on. Come on, flames. Cook that cheese. This young lady out in her kayak. How's it look? Good. Clear? No sharks? Okay. All right. I'll let you know if I see any fins. It's good. It's a good thing to put on the bucket list just to come to Virginia Key, bring the teal tadpole and get it out on the... Uh, Florida straight. All right, guys, it's time for a hot dog or two and a fresh beer. Oh, yeah, those are done. Come on, burger, you're holding up the rear. Let's go. Let's cook, baby. All right, guys, let me show you how the professionals do this. A hot dog is not a hot dog unless it's got that on it. I know it's not a commercial, but I don't care. It's good. Here we go. Public specials. Not the best in the world, but that's okay. Once we get done putting this uh, ooh, goodness on it, it's all she wrote. Feast your eyes on that. No ketchup, no mustard, nothing. Onion sauce, baby. Puts hair on your chest. You get that juicy, delicious snap of that all beef kosher hot dog with the view of the... Uh... I'll let you guys describe it. You come down here, you go over Rickenbacker Causeway and you could easily just pass right over Virginia Key without giving it a second thought. Don't do that. You know, they have all the facilities here that you need with these beautiful beaches, also with some great views. So I'm certainly gonna put it on my list of places to come back to. Time for a refill. You know what to say by now. All right, guys, this is it. The moment of truth has arrived. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. If it's raw, we'll get worms together. I don't think that's raw. I think we're good to go. Let's go, baby. Get on there.
con queso. Alright, let's go with the burger. Now the burger, I'm not gonna put anything on. Feast your eyes on that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. That cheese was scolding. Mmm. It's perfect. Mmm. Go to the last drop. Mmm. I'll tell you what, these Garcia sausages, they're made uh, right here in Florida, in Tampa, at a sausage factory. And uh, it's a little spicy for me, but what the hell. Guys, what happened to this place, once segregation was over, anyone could go to any beach they wanted to. So people start going to Crandon Park over in Key Biscayne and Hallover Beach. And, and so then this place fell into disrepair. Add to that the financial crisis that the city of Miami was facing, virtually on the brink of bankruptcy. And this place just completely fell into disrepair and the money wasn't available to do anything with it. So they closed the park down from the early 80s all the way up to the late 90s. This park laid in fallow and there was really nothing going on here whatsoever. It was essentially a dead island. And then just the opposite happened. Miami's fortunes had turned around. Uh, real estate started really increasing in value. Developers came in. And so at that point, they decided it was time to do something with Virginia Key. But there were a lot of people here that were afraid that all of the culture and the history of Virginia Key dating back to the 1940s would be lost in redevelopment. But even when they reopened it, it was mostly relegated to things like having concerts here or special events or even like training the local police force. So in 2000, a task force was established, the Virginia Key Park Trust, whose mission was to ensure that the history here would be preserved. And in 2008, for the first time in 26 years, it was reopened to the public. Now, giving everyone access to this beautiful, beautiful key. What's up, guys? Oh, oh yeah? So you showed up, and it's this game where we look, we're here to share. Because I wanted to talk to you. It's my first time here in Virginia Key. Keep going. What, what's, what's over there? Someplace you've never been. Well, that's true. That's always, you know, interesting to say the least. God, look at this view, you guys. Got the best view in the house. Right here. Have you been coming here for a while? All my life. All your life? Really? Wow. Well, hey, you discover a good place. Why change, right? Well, you're lucky to know of it. It's kind of lucky. You're lucky to like, there's not a lot of people who know about this. So I looked it up. There's a big history here with what happened in the past because this used to be the beach for the, for the African-Americans. That's the next beach over. Oh, that's the next beach over. Yeah, that's, that's if you go south, right. it'll be your next left. That's, I mean, that's historic. That's historic. Oh, I'm not even on it? No. I'm in the wrong place. Okay, I gotta go check that out. How do I get there? Just go back all the way back out. Right. Take a left and get to the main, you know, board. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Very I appreciate good. all the knowledge and information. You guys are the best. Enjoy. Do the rest of the rest of the barefoot that you didn't do. There we go. Yeah. I'll see it all before this day is out. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. Thank you. Okay, guys. You knew I was getting in there before this day was out. Barefoot and all. Okay, guys, a little Florida trick here for you when you guys get here. When you get to the water, you see those dark spots? 
that's where you don't want to be. Look for those pale green spots because there's no seaweed there and usually no rock. Ow. Ow. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, this water is beyond warm. This water is borderline hot. Borderline hot. I am not exaggerating. Watch out for that stuff. Stingrays, jellyfish, man of war, and of course the great white shark. I think I'll stick right here up to my ankles. Oh my God, guys, it's, it's too warm. Okay, I know, it's mid-July. What the hell is that? It's like effervescent. I felt like I was like in a bottle of champagne there for a second. Hold on. I smell a thumbnail. How about you guys? Guys, can you think of a better way to spend a Wednesday afternoon than what I'm doing right now? I mean, look at this place. This place reeks of Gilligan's Island. Those palm trees set up there on the shoreline. It's one of the things that I absolutely love about Florida, especially South Florida. Those coconut palms, they're so Pacific looking, Tahiti looking, right? Bora Bora with the tiki huts. I mean, you know, there's not too many places in the States where you're going to get that kind of look. So I will tell you that I'm stepping on the seaweed right now and it actually feels pretty good. This seaweed is alive and it's st stuck to the ground. It looks like there's a little spot right there. Yeah, look at that. My little oasis. Hopefully it's not quicksand. Um, apparently the historic part of Virginia Keys on the other side. So um, I'm not even there. Thanks to my new friends for straightening me out on that. You see, you gotta, you gotta always talk to the locals. They'll tell you where you're at. I was wondering why I didn't see any of those buildings. I figured I just didn't get to them yet. Should have set up the barbecue right under this. That breeze hitting me is just making me feel so refreshed right now. So guys, what I decided to do was Rather than to drive on to the other side of the island, I got a spot here, I already paid for it. The bike's in the trunk. So I'm just gonna set it up here. We're gonna ride around, we'll go to the other side, we'll see what we can see. I got till 6.30 and then we'll come back. Let's go. Is anybody here? I don't think there is. There's not. Okay. Wow. Guys, this is where we should have been to begin with. All right. My apologies for that. So here's a bike and walking path. This tells you right here. Historic Virginia Key Beach Museum Park. Looks like they got some kind of a castle rock climbing thing over there. I don't know. Soccer fields. So uh, let's check it out. Wow, 
pretty cool. I don't know if it's some kind of a giant sculptor, sand castle, rock castle kind of thing, or a uh, tribute of sorts. And how appropriate is it that there's a uh, iguana crawling around on the front of it? Onward and upward. So they got rentals on the other side and they got rentals here too. Oh, they got picnic tables right here, right on the beach. So here's, uh, I was telling you guys about the historic buildings that they preserved. This is the bathhouse. Same bathhouse that was used all those years ago. They did a good job of preserving them. You could see that they uh, they got a nice fresh coat of paint on them with with those Miami pastel colors that we love. Just like the brand new Barefoot Vlogger logos. Get your t-shirts now. Links in the description. So this is where the concession stands were back in the day and and I guess these were where they had all the, you know, food items that they would sell. When Virginia Beach Park officially opened to the public in 45, a prefabricated snack bar was among the site's first amenities. A 1947 hurricane destroyed it, and in 51, this permanent concession stand was constructed in its place. For decades, park and beach visitors enjoyed corn dogs, potato chips, and knee-high sodas. And this would have been their view. Historical marker number two is the Dance Pavilion. In 1918, the map located a Negro Dance Pavilion on Virginia Key. When Virginia Key Beach Park opened in 45, a concrete dance floor was included on this site. Beach visited stands to Lindy Hop, Foxtrot, Twist, Mashed Potato, Robot, and Hustle to the popular hits of the day. So, and if I'm not mistaken, there's that original carousel is still here. This must be it. I wonder if this was the carousel. It is. The historic carousel building. So th this building at one time actually was a merry-go-round that was uh, fully functional and in use right here, right at the water's edge. funny because it reminds me of when I was a kid in the Brighton Beach Baths Beach Club where I grew up. Historical marker number four, the carousel and carousel building. In 1952, park planners decided to include a carousel ride for park visitors and their children. By 56, an Alan Herschel merry-go-round delighted beach visitors inside this octagonal building. Wow, with hand-carved wooden horses gilded up and down. Really cool. And it's built with this glass block construction here in the middle, which is uh, it was actually big in the 80s too. It's a pretty big Miami Vice style. I thought that they had some kind of a railroad in here too. I know they did back in the day. I'm not sure if they still have it here, but let's see. Let's see if we can find it.
What's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. How about yourself? I'm all right. Hey, I'm, all right? Che I'm checking out the history here today. I think it's really intriguing and pretty incredible. Um, is there some some kind of a train or a railroad that used to be here? Is that yeah, gone yeah. or do they still have it? Be here, but it's not working. Can I just get a look at it? Where would I find that, sir? Go that way. Okay. Go straight, though. On this road right here? Yeah. Okay. Go straight. Go that, straight. No, not that way. That way. Where that, you, you where that see, covering is there? Yeah. By that tree, go past that tree on yeah. the left. And then you'll see the depot, the depot. on the right-hand side where the train stop at. Okay, so right between but, that tree there and this this building here. I don't know if they got it locked. The train park right back there. Oh, the train park's back here. So I can't, I can't miss it. The right there. I saw the carousel, so if I go through here, I'll, I'll run into it. Yes. Beautiful. You're it's the best. Right. As soon as you go across the track, yes, the depot where they pick people up is right there. Okay, the train is down a little bit. So it was an actual train that ran that picked people up? I thought it was just like for kids or something. No, it was an actual it's train. For kids and grown folks. For grown folks too. Where would it go? Where would it go to? Do you know? All the way around that pond. They got a big alligators over there in that uh pond. Really? All one, right. One about this big. Hopefully, I don't run into any that no, haven't eaten lunch he, yet. He be in the pond. I don't see him out. I've been out. All right, my friend. 14 years, 17 years. Oh, you've been here 17 years? Yeah. Wow. Part time. Part time. Okay. Almost full time. There you go. Did you back in the day? Did you did you uh, ever come here back in the day, or you, you were a little too young for that, right? Maybe uh, some of your folks or something used to come here Man, back. I'm 67. You're 67? Yeah. My God. So were you, when you were a little kid, did you come here? On bicycles. Really? Yeah. Out, out, so they, they considered a color beach back then. So so you used to come here back when it was a colored beach. Yeah. That, man, that must have been something. I would love to hear your. Your perspective, how how old were you, sir, when you used to come here like that? Little kid? Might have been nine. About nine years uh, old. Eleven. Nine or eleven. Twelve. I'm, I've been there. So back then, that was before Rickenbacker Causeway, so you had to get here by boat. Go the old bridge. The old bridge. Yeah, it's a fishing pier now. Okay. That's the one I used to cross. Oh, really? It came all the way over? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you get over him back then. Wow. Uh, one of them rowboats, I went with, I went, I went here then. Yeah. Oh man, you're a good man. I'm just gonna go look. I don't wanna break any rules or anything, so you I'm just gonna breaking. go look at it. I wanna. You're not breaking rules. Oh, thank you. Is this the track that it used to go on? Yep. Right here? Yes, sir. Wow. It's kind of a small track, huh? So. Go across. I don't imagine that it was a big train. It was a good train. Really? Nice. This you little track. If it's open now, I can't open the day code. No, no, that's I okay. This is good, Steve. This is a lot of history right here that you're showing me. So I just want to look at this track here. Look at that, guys. That's a track that the train used to come back through here. Now, how long ago, Steve? We're talking about going back to what? 1945? Something no, like that. Man, I wouldn't even bone then. Wow. They and gotta they... fix the track. They got a brand new train. Oh, so the train still runs? They always holler no money. Yeah, that's but the, the thing. parking lot be full every every Saturday and Sunday. Really? And the grass up front be full. Wow. Back here be full. People love a good train ride, don't they? Yeah. There you go. Hey, thanks for doing that for me. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the depot. All right, let's go. Personal tour by Steve. Only on the Barefoot Vlogging Network. Right there. That's where they pick people up. Oh, right here's where they pick people up. Yeah, and the train all the way to the end. I'm gonna take you go around there. If that door open, you can open it up, but make sure you close it back. Okay, so this was like the little station right here that would yeah. come in. Where they pick them up at? Wow. I used to drive a train. Did you? Mm -hmm. Locomotive? Yeah. Wow. Still over there in that corner? Yes, sir. That's where the tunnel is. You see some doors over there. If they open, you can open it up. And make sure you close it back. See the doors right there? The brown that you look building? Brown. Way back there where it has the... Uh... Over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do I get in there? All the way over there. Right here? Yeah. 
Okay, it's okay if I just go take a peek at it? Yeah, yeah. if it's open, I'll doubt it if it's open. Okay, right right back in there. Pick, yeah. By that, by that fence over there. See that, that thing that come down? Yes, sir. That's it right there. Okay, I'll see if I could go grab a look. And if you come uh, Sunday, yes, sir. I can open the carousel up and let's take pictures. Oh, that'd be wonderful, Steve. Yeah. You're the man. All right. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. We got permission. We're going. This is it. You can see this is where they keep it. The tracks actually end right here at the building. So he, he said that I could see if it's open. Shit, they got it locked. They got it locked up. As would be expected. So I'm not gonna mess with it, but uh I'll tell you what. Let me take the camera off and see if I could show you guys. It's probably dark in there. But you guys will get to see what I can't. Whatever that may or may not be. I'm assuming it was pitch black in there, but anyway, I gave it a shot. Well, guys, that's about all the uh, history I can handle in one day. I don't know about you, but I need a cold drink and a hot dip in the ocean. We got one more order of business here, guys, before we leave. And that's to check out the exact actual beaches that are a part of this history. Here's an entrance right here. Oh, that breeze feels great. Look at this, they even have picnic tables here. That right there is Rickenbacker Causeway. Come on, Pelican. So that causeway right there will lead you to Key Biscayne. Which I'm assuming is that landmass right there across the way. Well guys, today was a lesson in history and it goes to show you that, you know, by talking to the locals, You'll really unearth a lot of important information, including if you're in the right place or not. And of course, we met Steve, such a gentleman. And, uh, and you know, it's moments of chance like that that give me the opportunity to come across such incredible and knowledgeable people that um, just open up their heart to you. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little walk down memory lane here on historic Virginia Key. If you're in the area, or even if you're not in the area, make a trip out here. I think you'll find it well worth it. Till next time, from historic Virginia Key in Miami, this is the Barefoot Vlogger saying, stay well and stay tuned.
What do you do with those coconuts? Do you, do you, does anybody eat them? Throw them away? Oh. Can I have one? Oh, okay. Oh God, I don't want that coming down on my head. I'm gonna take this one right here. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. All right, guys. You'll be seeing this on Saturday Night Live. This is the official Virginia Key coconut. It's going in my backpack, and that's gonna make it, if it as if it didn't weigh enough already. It's like Fred Flintstone's bowling ball. Oh, it's heavy, but I needed a souvenir. Onward and upward. Oh my god! Forget deer crossing! Iguana crossing! That's Florida living, guys.